forever. I hope you all are feeling as blessed and beautiful as I am feeling today. Thank you, queens, for tuning in with me to yet another video. So, I have some big life updates. Um, you haven't seen me on here much because I actually bought a homestead with my husband two years ago now. And we have been farming and growing abundance of food. If you're interested in things like that, you can use the link provided in the top corner. It might be in this corner, I'm not sure. <laughs> but you can utilize that link to go and find my other channel that is named Love Health Market. Um, I also sell a lot of body care, um, apothecary products on my website that is also lovehealthmarket.net. But that's neither here nor there. Um, this video is not an ad. This video is an actual life update that I wanted to share with you all. So if you've been following me, then you've seen my locks and the journey that I have had with them through having scabs on my scalp, through treating eczema, through uh, eczema, psoriasis, dandruff, through natural methods, um, chemical-free methods, um, just so many things. My journey as a sister lock consultant, which I am doing sister locks as well, and I am accepting transfer clients. So if you are in the Central Florida area, feel free to use my Instagram to book an appointment with me to get a retightening or an install, whatever you need. Um, you've seen all of that. So I felt that it was just a rite of passage to bring you onto this next journey with me that I have began, which is combining all of my 80 locks into six locks. So I have already started. Right now I have them in Bantu knots because I am attempting to curl them for the first time. Um, and I have began the process of locking them from the roots to the ends. It's been a lot easier for me to lock the ends. Um, I will show you guys the process uh, later on in the video of how I combine them. It is extremely tedious, um, <laughs> very tedious, and it is a long process. It's a journey, just like anything else with having locks. It is a journey, um, and it does require patience, but the method that I have chosen to use to combine my locks, because they are fully locked, so if you don't know, I've had locks for 18 years. I got my locks when I was eight years old. <laughs> so I've had locks for a really long time um, and they are definitely fully mature. So doing this was not something that was uh, per se simple or easy. Um, but I have been able to combine the ends of the locks easier than I have been able to combine the middle. I'm thinking that's because I palm rolled um, at the beginning of my journey. And when you palm roll, your hair is not as fully stable as it is when you um, do interlocking. Interlocking is literally interweaving your hair within itself using the curl pattern that you have to create a web, like a netting. Um, as palm roll is just rolling it, you know, it's just massaging the hair into one another. So there's a lot of space, a lot of pliability still within those locks and I'm seeing the difference <laughs> but um when I take my hair down from my bantu set I will show you what the curls look like um I will also show you what my locks look like using the crochet method to combine them so I two strand twisted my locks to the desired size I rubber band them at the top to secure them and then I went through and sewed um, with the sewing needle my locks together to make sure that they were stable and tight Once I did that I went in with the crochet hook and picked them back and forth for days <laughs> Days at this point it's been weeks like this is definitely like I said a journey you have to be patient You can't just be like oh I want weeks tomorrow if you do feel free to pay somebody because they want racks honey thousands of dollars um, which is your prerogative. I, hey, I'm all about it. Like, if you got it, do it. It's so much more convenient than doing it the way that I'm doing it. But, um, either which way, I'm not mad. <laughs> I love my hair. I'm so thankful, uh, for this journey. And it's been beautiful so far. Like, 
amazing um the less maintenance that is required how comfortable i feel with just having power in my own natural curls um this is something that i am so excited to be able to share with my daughter share with my son share with my husband um just embracing who i am what my desires are um authentically unapologetically exactly how i want to so I wish that for you too. If there's anything that you're thinking about doing and you're worried about the opinions of others, F up! <laughs> do it. It's going to feel so good when you finally do and you embrace it. Yes, you will be nervous, but discomfort is where growth lies. Um, comfort, growth don't live, the honey. So you got to step out of that box, step out of that shell and move on to the next phase in your life. And this is my next phase. So I'm bringing you all with me because I will be doing um, more styling videos now, um, maintenance videos on how to maintain wicks if you're interested in that. Um, I also will still be doing things based on all different types of locks because I understand wicks is a subculture and I also know that it's very Florida based for some reason. Um, but yeah, so I know that there's not a lot of people that will be interested per se, maybe, I don't know. Um, that's not my point. My point is just to bring y'all with me so you can see what it's like. Maybe I'll inspire you. Um, <laughs> but as of now, I'm just, like I said, fully embracing this and I've noticed that there's not much information out on this process, especially as a queen. I see a lot of kings with wicks, um. Wix is the terminology for larger size locks. I did not mention that. Um, so yeah, with having my locks being this big, I want to be able to showcase styles, different beautiful feminine things that you can do with your hair, how to maintain it, how to moisturize, how easy it is. I woke up this morning at 7.30 um, and I washed my hair, which took, it was pretty much the same amount of time um, to wash my hair because I'm very meticulous about washing my hair. Um, but then I oiled it, put my aloe in it, and styled it by 9 o'clock. Like, what? <laughs> I could have never did that with my hair before. I would be here still. First of all, I would have never did it. <laughs> I would have never woke up on a day that I had to work and tried to do my hair. But I also um, would not have been able to do it in that short amount of time. It would have literally took me until at least noon. So I'm very, very, very pleased, needless to say, with the lower maintenance and having my hair like this so stay tuned to see how I actually got it to be in this style um well it's just bantu dots but more so by style I mean how I've been locking my wigs and what my bantu knots end up looking like once I take them down because this is my first time curling my hair like this and I'm really excited to see if it comes out really spirally and pretty like I'm used to with my um skinnier locks so here we go <laughs> my bantu knots didn't work um it literally probably would have if i would have left them in longer but my locks are so thick now that number one they were super uncomfortable to sleep in but number two it just took way too long for them to dry so i tried to do a two strand twist method um this one is still in the two strand twist and that also um took a little while to dry i did it when it was more damp but not like straight out the shower like i did with the bantu knots um so yeah it's a little bit of a curl as you guys can see but not much um i just found out another method that i'm gonna try um, using a scarf actually to curl them because since my hair is so long that I couldn't use the flexi rods or the lock loops or pipe cleaners or anything like that it got literally to halfway up my hair and was just done so we're trying out new things and I will keep you updated but yeah so far this is what we have I'll take this one out right now so you guys can see I don't even think this one I feel like this one was like pretty much fully dry. Yeah. Not really much of a curl at all. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I just wanted something a little bit like girly and princess-like and whimsical, but 
it ain't giving. <laughs> so, <sighs> on to the next style. I still support um, the journey, like, I love what Jay Z is doing. I was just talking to my husband about this. I love Jay Z. I love J Cole. I love Lauren. I love every vessel that attempts to do wicks or um, freeform locks their hair. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience. Um, and self acceptance and self awareness and all of those things. In that. <laughs> I have become extremely aware that I enjoy to have a more westernized look. 